So I added another row to our doily and uh, a couple of people asked me to add a third row so I, I had so much fun doing it that I decided, you know, I'm going to do it. I might even not keep going and going. I have my dining room table right here and it's a round one so I might just keep going and going and going until it fills the whole uh, table. I think that would be so cute. But um, as you can see, I already added this row right here. Very easy uh, row to add. Uh, the, the pattern's not hard, not hard at all. So as you can see, this was our last size that we, that we did. And now we're going to add this one. Um, a lot of doilies have this pattern right here. So it's going to be fun. Okay, so leave probably like double the tail that you left with our second row because it's going to take a lot. So we're going to put this down and we're going to start with five double stitches. Pico five double stitches Pico five double stitches I did six. Okay. So five double stitches, pico. It's a pretty big one. Okay, five double stitches. Keep doing six, sorry. Okay, so we have three picos with five double stitches in between, and this is gonna be our first ring. Let me pull my thread from my tail because I left a very long tail. So let's close the ring, okay. And be careful because when you leave a, la a long tail, it gets to get tangled more easy. And then you spend most of the time untangling your thread. <laughs> Fun. Okay, I think that's my, put my finger there so I don't lose my, my loop. And... There we go. Okay. So we made our first ring. But we're not going to, let me see if I can go down a little more without my camera blurring it. Okay. So we're not going to reverse our work. We're just going to make a little knot on the top just to secure our ring. Okay. So... There's our first ring. Now we're going to make another ring with the same number of stitches. Five double stitches. OK. 
Okay. And we're going to join to our pico. Five double stitches. Okay. So now we're going to grab our doily and we're going to join to the middle pico from our last row, our chain. So we're going to grab, you can join to any one you want. You don't have to, you know, just any because we're going to use them all. So, okay, I'm gonna join. There we go. And we're gonna add five double stitches. One pico, five more double stitches. Okay, so all our rings are gonna be the same. They're gonna be, uh, we're gonna have in all our rings three picos. So the only difference is where we join, but they're all going to have the same number of double stitches and picots. Okay, so now we're going to close our ring. my okay let me find my tail there okay so we're closing the ring And we're not going to reverse our work. Okay? Okay. Let me fix my tail over here. Okay. Now we're going to do another ring five double stitches and we're gonna join to our pico Five more double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. So we have two picos so far. So one two because we're counting the one that we join as one so we need one more so let's do one more pico and five double stitches one good 
Let's close that ring. If you hear any noise or kids talking, those are my kids. They're on vacation, so they're being loud outside. So we close the ring. Now we're going to reverse our work. There's our teardrop. Go under. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now we're going to make a chain with five picots and five double stitches in between. So one, five, pico, five double stitches, pico, five double stitches, Pico, five double stitches, Pico, five double stitches, let me count how many picos, four, okay, one more, and five double stitches. Okay, so we have our needle in front of our last circle. We're going to push the needle, pull our thread through our chain, keep going. Oops, I'm getting a nut in my thread. Okay, keep going. There we go. Now we're going to reverse our work. Go under. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're going to make another set of three rings and join it to our next chain right here. And you're going to do the same thing over and over and over and over. So you're going to have fun with this one. You're going to be there for a while doing it. So let's start our next ring. Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Oh, 
Okay. Now we're going to join to this pico right here. Not to our first one. This one. Okay. So join. Five double stitches. Okay, and one more pico, five more double stitches. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now we're going to close our ring. gonna reverse our work we only reverse our work on our last ring that we do in each set and on our chain that's the only time you reverse your work okay okay next ring five double stitches Okay, now we're going to join this pico right here. Okay, find our stitches. And we're going to join to our second row of our doily. like that okay now we're gonna do five more double stitches pico five double stitches Okay, close our ring. Oops. Good. Now we're not reversing our work, so we just do a little knot on the top. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start the third ring. Five double stitches. Okay. 
Okay. Now join. Five double stitches. Pico. Five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Okay, so we have our three picos. Now we're gonna close our ring. Okay, so it's our third ring of our set. So we're gonna reverse our work. And do our chain. Five double stitches. Pico, 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 let's see how many we have. We have five. Okay, so five more double stitches. One. Okay, now remember after we do our chain, we have to reverse our work. Uh -oh. Stuck. Okay. Okay. Now reverse. Sorry. It's kind of hard when you have a long tail. So our chains should be looking to the left, just like that, after we reverse, okay? So continue doing that, and I will catch up with you when you're in your last two chains. Now remember... 
you don't join to the first one you join to the second one and you only reverse your work when you're on your last ring and in the chain so I'll see you in a little bit okay so we're almost done with our doily so this is what we have so far took a while but it was fun okay now we're gonna do I just did my chain now I'm gonna do a ring five double stitches pico five double stitches gonna join five double stitches pico five double stitches Close ring. And we're now reversing our work. Okay, so now we're going to do our next ring, five double stitches, we're joining. Five double stitches. Now we're going to join to our doily. Five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Okay, now we're gonna close our ring and we're not gonna reverse. Okay, our third ring, five double stitches, join, five double stitches. Pico, 
five double stitches. One more pico and five more double stitches. Good. Now we're going to close our ring. And since it's our last uh, ring of our set, we're going to reverse our work. Okay. Good. Now we're going to start our chain. Five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Three more picos we need, so one more pico, five double stitches. Pico, this is our four one, five double stitches. One more pico, five double stitches. Okay, so we're going to put our needle in front of our work and we're going to push our needle, pull our thread through and it's getting there. Good. Now we're going to reverse our work. If you hear clicking, is my son. He's playing Minecraft next to me. Okay. Now, we have one more set. We're almost done. It's looking pretty. So cute. Okay. So... One more set of rings and one more chain. Five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Okay, now we're going to join. Good. Five double stitches. Pico. That's our third pico, five double stitches. Okay, we're gonna close our ring.
and we're not going to reverse. Okay, one more ring, next ring. So we did five double stitches, join, five double stitches, and now we're going to join to our last, to our last uh, row. From our doily right there we're almost done yay okay five double stitches Pico, five double stitches. I'm going to close a ring. Okay, we're not going to reverse. Okay, so we're down to our last ring, five double stitches, we're going to join, sorry, Five double stitches. And we're going to join to our first ring. So we're going to join to this picot right here from our first ring. Okay, five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Okay, close your ring. And since it's the last ring of our set, we're going to re uh, reverse our work. My thread was getting tangled. Okay, there's our teardrop. Go under, okay, now let's do our chain, five double stitches, pico, five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches. Pico, five double stitches.
Pico, five double stitches. We have four picots, so we need one more. And our five double stitches. Our last ones. Good. Put your needle in front of your work. Push the needle through. Good. Now we're going to reverse our work. Flip our whole work around. Okay. Good. Now we're going to have to finish it up by going on top of our la first ring. So, see, so here's our first set. We're going to go right on top of the first ring. right up there because if you notice our chain is coming out of the this ring not the middle of our work it's coming out of the rings on the side see so that's why we want to join to that one we'll finish it up on that one so and I got a knot on my thread Come on, we're almost done. I hate it when that happens. There it goes. Okay, so keep pulling. Good. There you go. Now we're going to make a knot. Pull it tight. And let's just do one more knot. Good. So there you go. We're done with our doily. Now go starch it and let it dry and put it on the table or in a place in your living room. Thank you so much for watching. Um, feel free to contact me to ask me anything and I will, I will try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.